Now this question here it says, form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions graphically. We have this problem here which says, 10 students of class 10 took part in a mathematics quiz. If the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys, find the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz. Now we have to solve this question graphically. Means we have to form linear equations, put them into the graph and get the solutions. First of all, let's form the linear equation. I'll take boys say as x and girls as say y. x numbers, y numbers means x plus y is equal to 10. That's my first equation. It says 10 students of class 10 took part in the mathematics quiz means total x plus y should be 10. If the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys means this number y or the number of girls is already 4 more than total number of boys means if I have to equate x and y, x and y, this y is already 4 more than the number of boys. So if I add 4 here, number of boys and number of girls would be equal. So this would be x minus y would be minus 4. That's my second equation. To put them into graph, I need y is equal to 10 minus x. This would be minus y is equal to minus 4 minus x. Let's try to cancel negative sign from here. So I'll take negative y is equal to negative common 4 plus x. This is cancelled. So y is equal to 4 plus x or x plus 4. So I have y is equal to 10 minus x and y is equal to x plus 4. Let's put them into graph. So now I have this graph here. x plus y is equal to 10 which gave me y is equal to 10 minus x and x minus y is equal to negative 4 where y is equal to x plus 4. Let's take some x values. Please be careful, x cannot be more than 10 and less than 0 and it has to be only into natural or whole number because we are talking about number of boys and girls. Boys cannot be 1.1 or negative 1. It has to be 1 or 0 or always natural or whole number. So I'll start with 0. Let's take total 10. So I have 0 to 10 boys. Now let's replace these x values here in this equation and in this equation here. I replace this x with 0, it gives me 10 minus 0 is equal to 10. Let's do the same thing with this equation here. I have these x values from 0 to 10, then I have y1 values, then I have y2 values. Okay. And this is the graph here. Now from this graph, you can see the point of intersection, which is x is 3 and y is 7 y is this value 7 and x is this between 2 and 4 halfway between 2 and 4 so x is 3 and y is 7 means 3 numbers of boys and 7 numbers of girls would be the common value for these two equations if, if you replace 3 here for x and 7 for y you will get 3 plus 7 as 10 if you replace 3 here for x 7 for y you will get negative 4 it means 3 and 7 is the answer for this question here. From this table also you can find out this value here. When x is 3, y1 is 7, y2 is also 7. So 3 will give you y1 as 7, y2 as 7. So it means 3 and 7, that's the point of intersection in this graph here. I'll put it this way. Point of intersection is 3 comma 7 means x is 3 and y is 7 so answer is 3 boys and 7 girls we have taken x for boys and y for girls so 3 boys and 7 girls that's the answer for this question here found out through graphical representation. Alright?